In this video, I'll show you how to use Google Earth on your iPhone. I'll explain the key features and things that you need to know. So first, go ahead and download the app from the App Store. So go to the App Store and go ahead and search for it. Once you've gone ahead and downloaded Google Earth, you can then open it. Now, once you've opened it for the first time, I do believe that you'll probably just see the Earth. Now, the first command or the control that you can use, you can go ahead and swipe around the Earth and you can zoom in to any specific location. Now, you can zoom in as far as you want into any terrain and you'll see information about where you are. Now, here in the bottom right hand corner, we've got four buttons. If you click on the top one, it's going to be the compass. And provided that the red arrow is pointing up, that means that it's pointing to north. Here you've got next to that the person icon. Now, if you go ahead and drag and hold onto that, you can drag and drop this person anywhere and that will activate street view. And when I say anywhere, I mean anywhere with a blue kind of like icon. So here we are in street view in an area of the world that I'm not familiar with. Now, sometimes it will actually place you into an image, a 360 image and not an actual street. Now, if you do this in terrain where people live, we can drag the person here onto this street. And from here, as you can see, we've got arrows to move up and down the street view. So that's street view. Now, next, you've got the navigation icon. And if you go ahead and click on that, it's going to find your location. It's going to ask you, though, if you want to give Google your location. Then you've got 3D. If you click on that, it's going to toggle through the modes. The first one will go through a spinning kind of like 3D version of Google Earth. Then you've got 2D and so on. Now, one setting that you might want to look at, if you go ahead and go back, you can then go ahead and swipe up here. And if you go to your profile icon in the top right hand corner and go to settings, here you can see you've got flight animations, you've got the animation speed, which you can control. You've also got the rendering quality and you're going to have to see what your phone can handle here. If you go into layers in the top right, you've got all of these settings which involve the layers and you can choose to have everything on, including borders, labels, places, roads and so on. You've got 3D buildings here, you can toggle time lapses and explore photos around the world. So these are just some of the settings. I mean, that is a basic overview of all of it. I hope that quick video was helpful and helped you out.